What's up everybody? Silas back again today. It's not morning, so I can't say good morning. It's actually late afternoon. I just got done recording my junkyard treasure hunt. I'm done with that. I've got a few old cars that came in today though, so I thought I'd take you around and show you some of those. And then tomorrow I got some more cool stuff going on, so we'll just put the two together. Before I do any of that though, I was sitting here in my truck and I noticed movement over here. And it looks like there's a sparrow stuck in the back window of this old Cadillac. I think there's a hole in one of the windows and so he probably got in the car and now I can't get out. So we're gonna do a little bit of bird rescue. There he is. Oh, he just flew out, I think. He found his way back out. That's all it took was me walking up. He's still in there. How in the world did he get in there? All the windows are in it. Let's open the door up for him. I can find a door that opens. There you go, buddy. I gotta hold the door though. It keeps trying to close. Come on, this way. You gotta come over here. I know I'm over here, so you're not gonna come over here. Let me see if I can prop this door open with something. Uh, I can't get the door to stay open. What do we got around here that'll open this? Maybe I can get the window to roll down. It's electric windows. Maybe he can come out the wing window. I still have no clue how he got in here. Genuinely no clue. There we go. Yeah. The door stayed open a tiny bit. Now I'll go around to the other side. Try to flush him out. Or her. Whatever it is. Open up this door a little bit too. Come on, you can get out. <laughs> it's scared to fly out. There it went. It's out. There we go. We did our bird rescue for the day. That would have been sad to find dead in the back window. But for real though, how did that thing get in there? All the doors are closed, all the windows are closed. I can't figure it out. The only thing I can figure is there's a hole in the floor down here where the floor is rusted out. Is that that bird hopped up through this hole and then got stuck in here. I have no clue, but at least we got it out of there. That's a cool car there. I was going to slice the side off of it is why I bought it for a wall hanger, but a guy from Oklahoma bought it from me. First up on the list, we got this old International right here. It's a pretty cool truck. It's all there. This is about like that one that I sold. This one isn't quite as nice though. And then this is a three quarter ton. The other one I sold was a half ton. But it's got a lot of good wall hanger pieces on it. Somebody might want the whole truck, but like I say, it's got some rust in it. The cab corners are rotted, the doors are rotted. Pretty bad, but it is all here. And it is still technically a pickup, even though it's the three quarter ton. A lot of the parts on this are the same as the pickup. The bed floor's got a little bit of rust in it. I don't have the tailgate for it, unfortunately. But it is a neat pickup. We bought something else from the same guy. I'll show it to you guys here in a minute. Next up on the list of vehicles that either my dad or I have bought in the last couple days is we have this 1969, 70, somewhere around there. I don't remember exactly what year this one is, but it's a Chevy C10. This is a pretty clean truck. It's a V8, automatic, AC, power steering, but no power brakes. He ordered it that way. He didn't care about power brakes and he didn't like radios, so he ordered it. Custom with the radio delete in it. No tack, nothing cool like that. There you can see it's got the delete plates. It's pretty solid old truck. As far as being original, you don't usually see them this solid still. Usually they're all rotted out when they're still original. But listen to that, that door just closes perfect. It doesn't sag or nothing. The truck's been sitting for years. We bought it from the original owner's son actually. But the bed's rock solid on it. It's got a little bit of rust in the tailgate. The tailgate sat down for years. 
And so all these little rectangles here all held water and they all rotted out. This truck here is a pretty clean one. We won't cut this one up or part it out. What I'm doing it probably is see if I can get it to start. It still turns and it looks pretty clean under the hood. You can tell it's been sitting for years, but some fresh gas and we'll try to put a gas line into a jug and try to get it started, put some tires on it, that sort of stuff. And if we can get it running and driving, that'll make it a lot more valuable. But we'll find a new home for that one for sure. Like I said, this one here may or may not find a new home. It may find multiple new homes in multiple pieces. We'll let the customer decide. Here's the 41 barn find. This one's guy supposed to be here in a couple days to pick it up from Virginia. And then we got this old Caprice Classic here. This one just came in. This is a pretty straight car. No rust. <laughs> screechy, screechy. I haven't actually even looked inside this one yet, so I don't know what's in here. Don't know anything about this car. My dad dropped it off. No, actually, he didn't drop it off. He was busy, so he had a tow company haul it in for him. But seems to be all here. AC car. Someone's put a CD player in it at some point. Yeah, I sent a picture of this to Mr. Good Players. As you guys may know, if you watch his channel, he likes these things. This type of, this body style here. So he said he'd really like to buy this one here. So next time he's in town, I know right now he's out of state. But as soon as he's back, he'll probably come out and look at this thing. And it'll probably go home with him. I'm sure I'll either sell it to him or trade it to him for something. Next up, we got this old Ford truck here. This one isn't really that old. But look how clean this thing is. There is no rust on this truck. And I'm not really a fan of these trucks. What do they call these OBS Fords? Something like that. I could be wrong on that. I forget what the different generations of Fords are called. The only ones I know is bump sides and dent sides. But, I mean, this truck, the tailgate's pretty rough on it. Someone's done some mediocre body work on it. But this bed is rock solid. The cab, the doors, fenders, hood, all that is rock solid on this thing. No rust. And these are starting to pick up in popularity. They're not real popular yet. But this one's nice enough that somebody might have some interest in it. I don't know if anybody will really want the whole truck. It does have some rust down there, it looks like. But it is just a six-cylinder. Is this an automatic or is it a three on the tree? Yep, this is a three on the tree. Ford trucks, interesting fact for you. As far as American cars go, this, this style of Ford truck, this body style, were the last vehicles, production vehicles, to put three on the tree. By this point in time... Most other companies had switched over to just on the floor. Chevy did make a three on the tree up into, I believe, the late 70s or early 80s. But Ford kept it all the way up until they went to the next body style after this one. So it's just a plain Jane truck. So somebody may not want the whole thing, but I think somebody will go for that bed. Because that's just a very clean bed. It does have one little dent up here on the bottom, but other than that, that's nice. And really the doors, the fenders, the hood front bumper grill i mean it's got a lot of good parts on it if somebody didn't want the whole truck i'm sure somebody wouldn't parts off of that one so we'll go ahead and hang on to that one there for now at least i don't have the heart to crush it right now maybe someday in the future but we'll see next up on the list we got this old chevrolet right here i think this is a 50 model if i remember right kind of a funny but not funny story on this one here i haven't really even looked it over yet but the guy that we got the international from was the same guy that sold us this one. My dad went and paid for him. Here we go. Uh, she's pretty rusty under here. That engine, I don't think it's going to turn over. No carburetor, and it's pretty rusty. But anyway, my dad went out and he picked up that International, paid for both trucks. And then this morning, my buddy... Uh, then this morning, my buddy messages me, and he says, hey, look at the Chevy truck. I'm bringing it in. And he had gone out and bought this thing off of Facebook. And I'm like, so I get a hold of my dad, and I'm like, uh, didn't you buy this truck? And he's like, yeah, I paid the guy for it yesterday. So come to find out, I guess the guy was just trying to double dip and double his money. Luckily, my buddy hadn't paid for it yet, so he already had it on his trailer, though. So my dad got a hold of the guy, and he's like, look, what, what's going on here? And the guy's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And But it was already loaded on my buddy's trailer, so he just went ahead and brought it to us. We didn't press charges or call the cops or nothing like that. It's not worth the hassle. We got the truck and nobody lost any money. My buddy has his time invested in it, but 
I'm sure there'll be something in the future he needs, and so I'll just give it to him. I offered him money for bringing it in, and he's like, no, I'm just glad I didn't spend money on something that didn't belong to the guy. So that would have just been a, a nightmare for him, having to deal with all the headache of, that's involved with that. Not sure what these fenders on the back of it are. I'm not sure if those are anything good or not. They look like late 50s Chevy to me, but I could be wrong. They might be international or something like that. There we go. The S truck here's got some rust in the floors, it looks like. Kick panels are rotted out a little bit. Just the plain Jane heater. It does have the chrome dash in it, and it looks like the trim around the windshield's good. So, it does have the original seat, and it's got a few other good parts going for it. So, if somebody doesn't buy this whole cab, which I'm pretty sure someone will buy this cab. The cab corners are still solid, the roof's still solid, so I'm pretty sure somebody will buy this cab. If not, it'll part out pretty good, and unfortunately, because this is a big truck, there is very, very little demand for these big front clips. So more than likely that will become a wall hanger. It is a cool looking truck, but it doesn't really have that good a patina on it. So nobody's gonna want the whole cab and clip to make a rat rod out of. This nose here is probably one of the most sought after wall hanger noses in existence, is the 47 to 53 Chevy trucks. People absolutely love these noses. And I could call a dozen people right now and sell that nose for good money. And so that's probably what we're gonna do with it. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I talk about cutting up these old trucks, but I mean, nobody's buying these trucks, and so what else am I supposed to do with them? We are in this business to make money. We're not in this to run a charity. So unfortunately, a lot of times, got to go where the money's at, and I let the customers decide. If they want to buy the whole thing, they're more than welcome to. Otherwise, it gets the old choppy choppy. And here's another one that came in. This one is another rust-free car, no rust at all. But man, did they abuse this car. I think about every body panel on this thing is bent dented or smashed or something. I mean, the doors, the fenders, the quarter panels. Looks like it went through a demolition derby. But it's a red car with red interior. Catalina. It's got a good tilt column in it though. It's got a lot of really good parts on it. I don't think anybody will want this whole car just because it is so rough. But parts wise, there's a lot of good stuff on this thing. It had some brand new tires on the back of it, so we pulled those off. They said it runs perfect, but the transmission won't go in gear. It slips real bad. It'll go in gear, that's right, but then it just starts slipping right away, so. Needed a transmission, and it's just an ugly car, so they didn't feel like saving it. They sold it to us for scrap. Like I say, I probably won't crush this one. Back in the day, boy, when I was a kid, this is another one of the cars that I grew up crushing, stuff like this. We'd crush these all the time. Of course I say that, but man, when I was a kid, we crushed stuff like this too. And back then, I mean, that was a long time ago. Not that long ago, I guess, but to me it was a long time ago. <laughs> but 20, 25 years ago, these trucks were in a lot better condition. And boy, we'd get them that were just nice. Still had original paint on them even. And we just take them in and chop them down to where they would fit in the crusher and smash them. We didn't save nothing back then. Every now and then, We'd get something really, really, really nice. Like we got a, a 68 GTO convertible and we sold that. I think we sold it for $800, something like that. And we got a 54 Chevy station wagon that ran and drove, mint original condition. I think we sold it for, I think eight or $900, stuff like that. I have a picture of me as a kid sitting on the hood of it. But when I was a kid, something like this, we never crushed because that was almost a brand new truck. We crushed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of antique cars and trucks and never even took pictures of them. And I guess in part, that's why I started this channel is I wanted to be able to document these old cars. And yeah, I know I do crush a lot of stuff that a lot of people freak out about, but you know, it's gonna happen whether I film it or not. So I might as well film it and document it all. I wish so bad we could go back in time and film or at least take pictures of all the antique salvage yards that we crushed out when I was a kid. Even this place that I'm at right now, this property that I bought, this used to be just solid antique cars, 20 acres here, over 20 acres. And it was just solid antique cars. And I think in 1991, they crushed out and just crushed everything on the place. The guy that had it started having an auction and I forget where the auction started. I think it was up front by the building somewhere. And they get the first few cars out and 
they were selling them for three or four dollars a piece at the auction and so he said nope stop the auction and I could be getting the story wrong it's been a while since I've heard it but he said stop the auction this was in about 1988 or 89 and the auctioneer stopped the auction and they sold all the tools and all the stuff in the buildings and they didn't sell any more cars he said no cars are for sale I'm not selling them that cheap and then he turned around and sold the whole place to a Christian outfit this truck here is one that I've had for a while this is one of the very first Fords of this body style that was ever produced. This is a very early 1963 model. There probably weren't very many of these that were made before this truck was made. I got a guy coming for it tomorrow. I'm not sure what his plans are for it yet. It actually runs. It does run. When I got the truck, it ran fine. Ran and drove. It had a big wheat bed on the back of it, and the guy that bought the truck off of Facebook, it was on Facebook for $500. The guy bought it, took it home, pulled the wheat bed off of it, and brought the rest into me for scrap. I didn't have the heart to crush it, so I brought it out here. And then this other guy saw it, and so he decided he wanted to buy it from me. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with it, like I said. But he'll be here tomorrow to grab that, so we'll film that then. And I am really, really looking forward to getting this cabin going. Really wanting to work on that. I forgot to charge the batteries for my impact, my small impact. So I need to get that done tonight. That way maybe tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, next week sometime, I can pull all the seats out of it and get started on it. This will be a really cool area out here. But I'm just about frozen. It is just bitter cold today. Not as bad as yesterday, but it's still, I think it's up to about 19 degrees right now. My fingers are just about frozen from walking around filming. So I'm going to head out for today, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I'm back again today. It is another chilly one out here today. I've actually been here for a couple hours already. When I got here, it was one degree Fahrenheit out here. It was absolutely miserable. I couldn't hardly do anything. Couldn't hardly get the truck to start. Got the loader started finally. Got the truck started. Let the truck run for about an hour just to get it warm up and I'm using the loader now. I've got a bunch of people bringing junk cars out and I've got a guy on the way to pick up an old truck. Uh, I've got a few other people coming to buy stuff on Monday so I've got to dig that stuff out now. I've got a few more people bringing loads of junk in. I've got a guy supposed to bring an old truck in this afternoon and then I'm hopefully gonna haul at least one or two loads down to the shredder. So it's gonna be a busy busy day but we're gonna get it done. Well the guy's here to pick this truck up now so we're gonna get it loaded up. I'm definitely glad to see it going to a new home. There's an online database that keeps track of the VIN numbers on these things here, the serial numbers. And I think they told me this is the third one made on their list anyway. I mean, obviously it wasn't the third one made, but as far as the ones that have been registered, this is the third one made. It's loaded up and ready to go. Off to a new home. He's not sure what he's going to do with it yet. Probably going to do some work on it, fix it up a little bit. I was careful with that one. We never did pick it up with the loader, so the drive shaft's still good and everything. Glad to see you go to a new home without having to chop it up. I got my trailer loaded up with a couple cars that just came in this morning. Or a car and a truck, I should say. So I'm going to run those into the claw. I know a lot of you guys are missing the claw and I've been saying this for a while now but I want to take this loader back to my other yard and start crushing cars full time again but it just hasn't happened yet and with all these people coming in today I needed to meet I just figured I'd just leave it here. But hopefully next week I'm going to take it back over there and then I'll be able to start doing this full time again. This will probably be the only load I take in today. I say that I might take one more but probably the only load but for those of you guys that missed the claw we'll get some claw action in today. Another old one just came in. This is the third one of these this week. I can't keep saving them all. 
I haven't sold anything off of one of these in a long time, so this in here, it's already ready to crush. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and smash the roof in and ship it onto the shredder. I already got another car on my trailer, so I'm going to smash the roof in on this one here and stack it on top of that and chain it down. And if nobody's here at that point in time, I'm going to run it onto the shredder. This just came in. This is the truck I was waiting on and expecting. He sent me pictures of it this morning. 1965 Chevy C50 Stub Nose. You know, I didn't even pop the hood. I don't know what engine is in it. We agreed on a price. Oh, that's going to be a two-hander job there. I'm going to have to push down on the hood. I'll do that in a second. Got some rust in the fenders. About like that 61 I bought a while back. Let's check in here. You always got to check the visors in these trucks and this in here is pretty solid, just a tiny bit of rust in it. It's not too bad though, a lot of times those are completely rotted out. Now, not too many options in this truck. Radio delete. It does have the deluxe heater controls in it. Old farm truck. Not too much rust though, in the cab. All this area is still solid. So that's pretty cool, still has the keys and the ignition. He had the title for it, but the title doesn't match this truck. The title matches the tag that's on this truck, but it doesn't match this truck. The title is for a 69. So I'm thinking the previous owner, that, and they were driving it like that for years and years and years. So I'm thinking they probably bought it from somebody and got the wrong title and just went down and tagged it. They don't do inspections in Kansas. So I'm sure they just tagged it and drove it as a 69 for years. And I mean, if somebody doesn't know nothing about cars, looks at this and they're like, oh, it's sure it's a 69 they don't know anything about old cars so but so I don't have a title for it because I can't sell it like that but hopefully maybe they just misplaced the title or something but I'm thinking that's what happened yeah it's got some rats in it but yes yeah, a little bit of rust these fenders are pretty rough but man they always are it's really hard to find these fenders that aren't all beat up and everything the bed's in really good condition. It's got a wood floor in it, unfortunately, but it's still in really good condition. It's even got the tailgate boards on the back there. But I want to pop the hood open on it and we'll see what engine's in it. Small block. Looks pretty clean, actually. I mean, it's oily, but it's not all rusty and it's not missing parts. So I bet with a little bit of work, this thing would fire right up and run. I doubt anybody's going to want the whole truck, though. Probably once again, same as that 61. I want to get a little bit more time and it warms up a little bit. I'm going to pop the cabin front clip off of this and sell that to somebody and probably sell the engine and then scrap the rest of it. People make car haulers out of these cabs and they put them on modern chassis and they're pretty cool. Oh, check that out. I just now noticed that. Bill Allen. That's a really cool thing. I'll have to pull that off of there. I know it's going to leave a faded spot, but unless they want to pay extra to leave them on there, those are going to come off and go in my collection. That's pretty cool. It's got them on both sides. 
yeah the outside of the visor up there is pretty clean too so yeah this is a pretty good condition truck really this one's probably in better condition than the other one the other one's not all dented up like this but it has more rust maybe somebody will buy them as a pair the other one's a 61 but it has the incorrect hood it has this hood on it but it does have the 61 grill another difference is is this in here is going to have a straight axle underneath it whereas that other one has independent front suspension close this hood okay that's gonna be a two-hander that hood does not like to cooperate needs to grease those hinges up but the hood's not rotted out anywhere either because a lot of times these will rot out so really this truck's in pretty good condition so it shouldn't be too hard to find a new home for this cabin clip He's heading out. I had a whole bunch of those old 1950 Buick windshields, NOS windshields, still in the box that I found when I bought the place. And he wanted those, so he's taking those. Guy just drove this car out. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. I didn't ask. Doesn't really matter to me. It's got a manifold cat on it, so I'm going to take it over there to the excavator, maybe next week, or if not, I'll wait on it until some other day. Rip the engine out and put it in the crusher pile. And with that, I am done for the day. I'm getting ready to head out now. They just picked up my iron box finally, so it's headed out. That thing's been full all week, and so I'm glad they finally got it. Got a busy week ahead of me next week. Monday, no matter what happens, I'm going to take that loader over to the other yard. I've got to get it back over there, so I'm just going to be closed and get it done. Also Monday, that truck back there, that old step side that you've seen in a lot of my videos, I believe they're coming to pick that up. I believe that's sold. And then also Monday, the 41 is sold, so they're going to come pick it up. Assuming all that happens, we'll make a separate video of all that. I'm going to close this one out here, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the tour of some of these old cars that have come in over the last few days. Who knows what's going to come in next week, so keep checking back. Hopefully next week I'll also be able to make some crushing videos for you guys. I know a lot of people are missing the crushing. It's been at least a month, maybe a little more, over a month, since I've crushed anything. So I know you guys are ready for a little bit of that again. You know me, I try to change it up a little bit every now and then. Kind of do this, do that. That way nothing ever gets too boring. So if you enjoyed this one, please leave me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.